Hello everyone, in this video we will discuss a numerical on gyroscopic effects on naval ships. Now the question says that there is a ship, right? And the ship, the rotor of the turbine of ship, it has a mass of 2.2 tons. The speed of rotation that is omega is 1800 rpm and the sense is given clockwise when we are viewing from the aft that means from the stern or the rear end of the ship this is again very important part because the point from where you're watching the movement it just changes the whole equation or it just reverses the gear therefore you have to be very conscious very cautious while solving the questions and keep in mind that the viewpoint is from the rear end right now the radius of gyration is given which is 320 mm we have to find the gyroscopic couple and its effect for three cases when there is uh, when the ship turns right at a radius of 250 meter with speed of 25 km per hour there is pitching when the bow rises at angular velocity of 0.8 radian per second and we have to find when the ship rolls at an angular velocity of 0.1 radian second, 0.1 radian per second, what will be the effect on the ship? So firstly, we'll write all the given data. We are given with the mass, we are given with the radius of gyration k, then we know the value of n, so we can calculate omega, which is 2 pi n upon 60. The velocity of turn of the ship is given which is 25 km per hour because we are using the SI system of units so we will convert it into meter per second then we are also given k and mass so we can calculate the moment of inertia i which is n k square and we are also given the radius of curvature along which the ship is taking a turn if ship is taking a turn about certain curvature so this is actually the r right so which is given us 250 meter and the velocity with which the ship is moving on this path that is given by small v omega is the angular velocity of the rotor or the rotating parts so the value we need to calculate is the angular velocity of precision so what happens if this is the if this is the initial velocity or if is if this is the initial excess of spin of the rotor and if the body moves to a new position so the excess of spin it moves to a new position and it changes with respect to v and r therefore the value of angular velocity of precision becomes v upon capital r we can calculate the value now the first case says that we have to find the gyroscopic couple and its effect when ship turns towards right at a radius of 250 meter we have already discussed and speed is already given now the first thing that we have to calculate is the value of gyroscopic couple the formula is i omega omega p you put the values and you get the answer now what is important to find the effect now the viewer is at the stern and the movement the initial movement is in the initial axis of spin is in the horizontal direction so the vector is o a right now when you are taking a right turn the ship it takes a right turn so the new position of vector showing the angular velocity becomes o b now the change of the angular velocity is denoted by the vector a b this vector also shows the change in angular acceleration and the direction of gyroscopic active gyroscopic couple is also shown by this vector a b so whenever you're trying to change the angular velocity from this position to this position some torque has to be applied right some torque has to be applied and this couple gyroscopic couple couple because they act in pair so one is the active gyroscopic couple and the another one is the reactive gyroscopic couple which will bring about a change in the movement of the ship now we know the direction of this vector b dash a dash now by applying the right hand screw rule we know that this is the direction of the curling of fingers 
right and this arrow of a dash will show us the direction of thumb so with this right hand screw rule we find that the reactive gyroscopic couple is in clockwise direction right now when we see the effect of this clockwise motion on ship we say what happens it tends to raise the stern and lower the bow now the second part says that you have to find the pitching effect when bow is rising at angular velocity of 0.8 radian per second so the angular velocity of precision is given therefore the value of reactive gyroscopic couple changes so i omega remains same because omega is what the angular velocity of the rotor now whenever the bow rises when is bow rising bow is rising in this case right bow is rising in this that means the direction of reactive gyroscopic couple is counter clockwise right when it is counter clockwise what happens the ship is turning towards the left right when we view from the top the ship it turns towards the left or towards the port right and when it is clockwise the ship it turns towards right or the starboard now the third part says that what will be the effect during rolling now see you can of course calculate the value of the reactive gyroscopic couple with the given data but there won't be any gyroscopic effect on ship due to rolling because the excess of rolling and the excess of spin of the rotor or the rotating parts of the body are same therefore there is no gyroscopic effect on ship due to rolling thank you